What's up guys, Justin here with the RealtimeEssentials.com back with another Unity asset video for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the Fantasy Adventure Environment. It's an environment asset pack designed to help you create a stylized environment like something you might see in like uh, Breath of the Wild or something like that. So it's a little bit more of a stylized environment um, for Unity. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. First things first, um, this is currently on sale as a part of the Unity Black Friday sale. Remember that is going Going on. Um, this is currently on sale for 50% off. I will link to this in the notes down below as well as the Unity Black Friday sale so that you can check out the lightning deals and the 50% off assets that are currently contained in the sale. But um, for this one in particular, um, you can see from the images that basically what this is, this is an environment pack um, that contains things like trees and rocks and other things like that that allows you to create this kind of like stylized look for your games. And so it comes with a number of different assets, so specifically multiple different kinds of plants, trees, um, tree bark, cliffs, um, all those different things are contained in here. You can see the full list at the link in the notes down below. It also has some different particle effects as well as some different shaders that you can use for materials in your scenes, but it's got a number of different assets in here, um, as well as it gives you the ability, it's compatible with Vegetation Studio and Gaia, so those are things that we may take a look at a little bit in the future, but those are listed on the website as things that this is compatible with. I will say I have not tested those integrations, but it does say that those, those should be compatible. All right, so just a note, um, it is compatible with the built-in render pipeline and the universal render pipeline. It is not compatible with the high definition render pipeline. And so to bring this in, you're gonna wanna go into your package manager and just find the fantasy adventure environment pack right here, and then download that and import it. So I've imported it from an external file, but um, you would just run it through here. And then once you do that, then you're gonna have the fantasy adventure environment folder set up right here. First thing to note, there's a quick start guide in here that you can open up. That's gonna give you kind of the basics of how to work with this. So probably the biggest thing in here is the universal render pipeline conversion. So um, the, the way that the pipelines are currently set up, things get a little bit tricky. This is set up by default to work in the um, standard render pipeline. And then if you wanna upgrade that to the universal pipeline there's a button you can use in order to do that but let's go ahead and open up the demo scene that comes with this there's actually several demo scenes and so if you open up the first scene in here this is going to give you kind of an asset overview and basically what that does is that allows you to um, take a look at what's contained in here so all the different kinds of trees you've got palm trees you've got these smaller trees in here um, you've got pine trees you've got trees with leaves so a lot of different options for different kinds of trees in here no i don't think um, even though these are pink, I don't know if these are broken or if these are supposed to be pink. So originally I thought these had kind of broken textures, but I don't think that they do. I'm not really sure. Um, Cause if I look at the image right here, it looks like these are actually supposed to be pink trees. So I don't think the shaders are actually broken on those. Um, one thing to note is if you do bring those into the universal render pipeline, everything initially is gonna show up as pink. So when you first bring that in, but if you go to their help file under fantasy adventure environment and click on the button for universal render pipeline, it'll go in there and it'll actually upgrade the materials so that they work in that pipeline. So the developer said that because of the way the two pipelines work, he had to ship it so that it worked in one or the other. And so it's shipped working with the standard rendered pipeline and then you just click the button in order to upgrade that. So in addition to having all the trees in here, you've also got multiple different kinds of plants, like this. You've got um, little grasses in here and bushes, as well as some flowers. Um, and then you've also got some sticks. And then if we turn around, you've also got some larger rocks in here. So you can use these to create like cliff faces and rock cliffs and all of that. Um, one thing I do wanna note on these as well is notice how these trees actually have LODs set up. So when you back up from these, Notice how it swaps them out with a lower polygon tree when you get further away. So you can use this in order to improve your performance inside of your viewport using that LOD system. And then if I back up even further, like to a certain point, notice how it says cold. Cold means they're not even gonna show up in the scene anymore. So this is really great for, this is really great for improving the performance if you do use this environment. 
And so what I want to do is let's take a look at one of these examples. And so let's open up the FAE demo one. So that's going to be a good file to kind of see what's possible with these assets. So you can see how this is like a complete environment that's actually uh, already set up inside of Unity. So it's got, it's got all the different trees set up. It's got the rocks in here. And so it's got the waterfall shader set up in here so that we have water. So you can see how there's a number of different things that come, come included with this particular asset pack. So it also comes with some built-in effects. So if you go to the effects folder, or actually we wanna go into the prefabs effects folder, but you've got things like rolling fog that you can bring in. That's gonna act as a particle effect, but notice how you get fog inside your scene if you bring that in. And then in addition, there's some other things too, like sun shafts you can bring in. So you can place this so you get a sun shaft coming through the trees like this. And so it's actually placing that as like a as like an actual billboard in your scene, but it's something that faces your camera when you move. So you'd be able to maintain that billboard effect in here as your player moves around. So there's other things in here too. So things like falling leaves, things like falling leaves in here, things like fireflies, other things like that as well. So lots of interesting options within this pack that really kind of help you create this uh, stylized fantasy environment inside of Unity. So I will link to this asset below as well as my video on the entire Unity Asset Store Black Friday sale. I'd love to hear from you what asset you'd like to see me cover next. So let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.